It doesn't rain often in Kuwait. But when it does, it's usually in the winter. Otherwise, in the summer, there's sand. People think I'm more unhealthy and eat more here. That's not true. My highest weight was in Canada. I was 402 pounds at the hospital. My blood sugar was 17. It's now like 6. Mm. My first bite. So thirsty. <laughs> All right, now I want to talk to you guys about Islam. I'm a revert. Um, I took my Shahada last September. One thing I noticed since becoming a revert is the community can be very judgmental. Go fuck yourself. Wholeheartedly with my whole chest, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's haram. Suck it. I used to be Catholic, okay? And as a Catholic Christian, I literally never ever had anyone preach to me about the rules of Catholicism and how I'm being a bad Christian. But now as a revert, I find that the community, the Muslim community online especially, can be very judgmental. There's one woman, ugh, I have to try so hard not to comment, but sometimes it does, it, I don't win. It's like marriage is halal or something like that and it's this Muslim woman. Always her face up close and always like, If you want to make your man very happy, you must bring him several wives. If you need help with that, please reach out to me. My husband is my king. If my husband tells me to sit down, I sit down. If my husband duties is not to bring your husband other women, okay? She has a t-shirt even for like merch that says bring your husband more women. No. Courage to allow him to have more SEX with other women, which is Zena, which is adultery, which is forbidden in most religion. So she just gets on my nerves like, she was just like, she just says really dumb things like, I don't know. Usually Muslims don't joke about, make jokes about Islam. She just annoys me. <laughs> and of course in the comments they're even more annoying. All the thirsty men are like, oh yeah, we need more women. I'm not even like criticizing the multiple wives thing because I understand it. But it's not done like that. He fucking cheated on me. He admitted it today. Fuck, thank you so much. Oh, he just messaged me that. Good, you deserve it. I get all the time people coming for me like, Islam police like rear, rear. I don't know just commenting on like makeup I see it happen to other people too like you know your hijab is not fully covering or this and that um, you shouldn't be you saying this yeah that's haram suck it you shouldn't be smoking shisha you know you should be eating with the left hand you should be doing this you should be doing that like let people observe their religion worship how they want to and like at not it's not between me and other sisters and brothers it's up to between me and Allah okay I'm struggling with a lot of things makeup stuff like that you know smoking shisha once in a while things that are frowned upon but that's between me and Allah um drinks even is still a Muslim I don't drink but people who smoke weed still a Muslim you know maybe lost or off the path but it's still but they're still Muslim and you can't judge somebody's journey, you know, just, I'm just tired of like being judged, you know? You know, I love God, but there's a lot of different things that I still struggle with and I'm still learning on my own. And that's my journey, it's my right, you know, before rushing here, the Islam police, I don't need your sirens, okay? I got this on my own. And I, I this is addressing like fellow sisters or other reverts, like, you know, who just make like, it's almost a deterrent to the religion from people being so judgmental in that community. So, I mean, I'm not even addressing my critics on YouTube are not even religious, most of them, or Muslim. And they come for me with the Islam police. I don't even care what they say. They look like clowns. Red flag, I know Leo Queen. Anyways, he's, he's married and has children in Turkey anyways. <laughs> but he's not gonna see his family for like three years. That's really sad. Oh well. What? He doesn't do his wife, so. <laughs> they look like clowns. 
judging a Muslim person when they know nothing about it. So, and they're not even Muslim whatsoever. The fellow sisters, like, who get judged, especially reverts, we get judged hard, right? Because, or like laughed at. I feel like we get ridiculed more from the, the Muslim community, especially online. And I've gotten some of that criticism and I've seen a lot of it too. And I myself have been judgmental sometimes, like when I see somebody wearing tight clothing and I'm thinking, and a good push up bra. And you're good to go, man. I'm gonna practice my dancing tonight. That's not how it's supposed to be, but then I like I catch myself and I think I don't like being judged. I don't that's not my journey. I, I'm not the one to judge. So she just gets on my nerves like she was just like she just says really dumb things like I don't know. I'm not God, I'm not Allah. That's between him and all the other people also have different ways of interpreting a religion, you know? So me, I just mostly I'm continuing to read the Quran and learning a lot that way um, about the religion and I, I realized maybe I should have done that a lot before actually taking the Shahada but for me it was like they ask you basically like before reverting do you believe in that there's one God yes I can take that off I do do you believe that um, Muhammad peace be upon him is his is his messenger and slave and I do because personally for me and don't this is just my belief everyone has their own and you can believe what you want I believe in the Islam the the Muslim I believe in the the I believe the Muslim belief that Jesus was a prophet and he did perform miracles but I don't believe that God has a son or had a son. And I don't believe that Jesus was God. So that to me, those two things meant that I could take the Shahada. But beyond that, there's a lot to learn about it. That's what I'm doing after, after the fact. So saying, you know, Muslim community, just think about that with reverts, how it can be overwhelming. And if you're doing something that you think is better than another Muslim, good for you. Um, you know, I would say just keep that to yourself and that's between you and Allah and you know, it's not like I'm doing anything super immoral or bad. Islam is about a relationship between you and, and Allah. That's it. Not, not about, you know, judging other Muslims, you know? So yeah, that's just my thought on the whole community, how it can be a bit judgmental sometimes compared to what I'm used to. And there's some rules that I have a hard time with, I have to say. Um, I know they're in place for um, our own good. So, you know, Alhamdulillah. So, you know, Inshallah, someday I will get it. But there's some things that I still struggle with. And 